And Neil got up and started to preach. And he preached about Jacob and heroes and, and all these different things. And then he, said, he spoke about how Jesus was a hero and how the fact that Jesus wipes your slate clean. And when he wipes your slate clean, everything disappears. And I'm sitting there going, I feel sick. And I actually physically felt sick. So I said to Jack, I'm going to the toilet. And I couldn't move off the seat. I couldn't actually physically get off the seat. And as he kept speaking, the more I felt sick. And then I started to sweat. And I became really, really hot. And my hands were absolutely dripping. And I could feel it running down my face. And I was just burning up inside. And then he said, if you want to give your life to God, and let Jesus wipe your slate clean, raise your hand. I've got my hand up. The first thing I noticed... Do you want to raise it, or it just went up? It just went up. Okay. I didn't even have an option. My hand was up. Neil says he's never seen anybody put their hand up before he had, hadn't finished the appeal. My hand was up. First thing I noticed, the water started leaking, because I had tears running down my face. And then I felt this burning sensation slowly travel up through my body and leave through the tip of my fingers as it was oh, raised. Okay. And I cried my heart out. I absolutely broke. And I couldn't stop crying. And it's the first time in my life since I was probably about five, six years old that I had cried in front of anyone. And here I was in church, absolutely sobbing my heart out. And I went forward and I was prayed for and I was... I, I was told I was saved. I never clue what it meant. But I came home, sat in the house, and instantly thought that something was wrong because there was no noise. It was dead silent. So if we sit, it's like us. Mm -hmm. I asked Janice what was wrong. She went, what do you mean? She says, well, there's no buzzing noise. There's a buzzing noise. Because my whole life I'd had this buzzing noise inside my head. Mm -hmm. It was gone. Mm -hmm. She told me it was a piece of God. I quite like us. I quite like the okay, about that. Okay. Wow, man. And I thought it was it. The next day I went back to hospital and they did all these different tests and all these different things. There's nothing wrong with me. There was no diabetes. But they can't explain why I was diabetic the week before, but not this week. They ran all these different sugar tests and everything. Everything was perfectly fine. So I told the doctor that God had healed me. And the doctor laughed in my face. He told me that God's not real. So that started another journey. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's when that's when I started to realise that I've got a story to tell because I started to share my story of how God had healed me 